Norfolk Island is this pinnacle pointing out of the Pacific Ocean, two and a half hours drive, drive, fly north east out of Sydney. It's a pinnacle coming out of the Pacific Ocean, a bit like Hawaii, because it was formed the same way. About three million years ago, bubbling up from the bottom, came a whole lot of volcanic blah and created Norfolk Island. Three million years isn't very old. It's about twice as old as Hawaii, but in human context, you know, we've been here as human beings 60, 70,000 years. Lucy and the missing link between apes and humans is about a million years old. So in geological history, Norfolk Island, one of the youngest islands in the world, shows how young human beings are. And in climate change context, if we're smart enough to wipe ourselves out and not smart enough not to, in geological terms, we'll be one of the shortest lived species on the planet. The planet will continue without us. Places like Norfolk Island will continue without us, but we're screwed. There is archeological history here dating back, I don't know, about eight or 900 years old, a Polynesian settlement down on the Southwest Point. However, they left about 500 years ago. So when Captain Cook tiddly bopped here in 1774 and got off his boat and claimed Norfolk Island for Great Britain, it was empty. In fact, he named it Norfolk Island because the Duchess of Norfolk was one of his great sponsors. Empty it was. Anyway, along came the British in 1788 to settle Australia as a penal colony, something that we have empathy for, seeing as we're not allowed out of our country right now, and also settled Norfolk Island. A couple of decades after that, they decided it was too hard, and two decades after that, they came back again. Around about the same time, or a few years earlier, was the mutiny on the bounty. And the bounty mutineers tiddly bopped down to Pitcairn Island and settled there, bred like rabbits, and soon outgrew Pitcairn Island. So they wrote, the descendants, to the British government and asked for permission to come here. So most of the people here on Norfolk Island actually descend from the mutineers on the bounty six or seven generations ago. And they're very proud of it and a whole bunch of really friendly people. Norfolk Island is stunningly beautiful. As a small island in the middle of the Pacific, everywhere has good sea views. There are some lovely national park areas here. There's a UNESCO World Heritage Protected Area down near where the original penal colony was. And there's some lovely, beautiful walking tracks and scenic views all throughout the island. Now, you can't come to Norfolk Island without talking about Norfolk Island pine. One of the reasons the British like Norfolk Island because the Norfolk Island pines grow nice, tall and straight, very good for ship masts. Captain Cook, when he landed here in 1774, even walked around the corner to Emily's Bay and drew one, which is now called Lone Pine. It's been carbon dated as 800 years old. You can stand next to it and photograph it and think in 1774, Captain Cook sketched it. Same tree. Norfolk Island itself was an external territory of the Great British Empire, but once Australia was federated, governed by Australia. About 10 years ago, government went bankrupt, didn't they? So as part of the deal of bailing them out, Norfolk Island became Australian territory. Some people in Norfolk Island still don't like that, so they're agitating for free association or independence from Australia. We'll see how that unfolds. But then again, you can't have your cake and eat it too. If you want Medicare, you've got to pay tax because before it was integrated into Australia, they didn't pay income tax. Now they bail out, they've got to pay income tax. Go figure. Being a pinnacle, there is not a great barrier reef or tropical reef around the place. But there'll be some interesting rock formations. If only you could go underwater and have a look. So, Norfolk Island. It's a pinnacle as part of a sub-ocean ridge. They're actually called ocean mountains, and apparently there are about 30,000 ocean mountains in the world. And this is one of them as part of a ridge that runs basically from Vanuatu down to New Zealand. There's 188,000 square kilometers of federal marine park here. Just to give you a sense of scale, not far that way, the ocean is 5,000 meters deep. So you get a sense of when I say pinnacle, it's an island coming up out of nowhere, which is why you've got these sharp and steep cliffs, which is why it's very hard for boats to come in. There's no safe place for ships to dock. It's still very hard for them to bring supplies on shore here. They need to be offloaded onto boats and rowed in. Talking about bad luck and timing, these freshly built tenders were created to service a new part 
of the Norfolk Island tourism industry. That is bringing passengers from cruise liners ashore. Because there are no piers, because it's a pinnacle and there are no safe places to bring boats in, you'd need to transship cruise ship passengers on these little tenders that can pull up to a very short and shallow pier. Problem is, they had them built, had them delivered. They went out and took passengers off one ship and then COVID hit. So maybe it'll be another couple of years before these tenders go out to bring cruise ship passengers to Norfolk Island. Maybe that's a blessing in disguise. The island has some positives and some negatives. It doesn't have the world's greatest nightlife, but it is a lot of fun to come here. Very beautiful. The positives are you're on your own. The negatives are you're on your own, like a laid back Australian town, but stuck on an island. And the last little while, particularly with COVID, has put some pressure on both transport, the lack of ships and vessels coming here, the decrease in tourism, and the lack of supplies coming. So there's actually quite a bit of shortage in the supermarkets at the moment. Anyway, whether it is 3 million years of geological history, 300 years of human history, not even that, or just some beautiful nature and some walks, or a nice place to come just to get away from it all. Norfolk Island is a good place to be. So I'm trying to figure out, why would Mitch want to live here? Why, why would you want to live here, Mitch? It's hard to bear, really. Don't get it. Yeah, don't get it. Beautiful <laughs> coastlines, beautiful oceans, lovely people, good fishing, good barbecues. Yeah. Good steak, too. Good steak. You're probably eating my brother's cows. Oh, really? Yeah.